and we are ready to go for race three. And uh, we're off. Good beginning for all the runners. Lady wears the ring per usual, showing her customary front running speed. Madeira Wine has the lead as well, comes up to challenge and take the lead away. And Lady Wears the Ring is three parts of a length behind in the second spot. Signorina Marisi in a good gallop early runs in third. She's three lengths ahead of Clock Strikes 12 into the clubhouse turn. A crown for Kitten second to last. And her stable mate at the back, Assignation. She's about seven behind the front runner. Madeira Wine, who's cruising up top, trying to slow the pace down here in the second quarter mile, gets a breather. But Lady Wears the Ring will have none of that. Tips out to the two path to come and press the issue. Madeira Wine on top, three quarters of a length. Lady Wears the ring on the outside, putting more pressure on second. A space of two and a half to Signorina Marisi. Still going well in third, racing alone. A length and a half in front of Clock Strikes 12. And the two Sherman entrants are at the back. A crown for Kitten inside of Assignation with a half mile to travel. Madeira Wine, Lady Wears the ring, a half length behind. And they pick up the tempo into the four turn run. Still a space of two and a half or three to Signorina Marisi in third. Clock Strikes 12 riding the rail. A crown for Kitten being asked for more. So is Assignation going to be caught wide turning for home. Those two are moving together at the top of the stretch where Madeira Wine leads them. And Lady Wears the Ring has called it an afternoon, is back in second. In the third position, clock strikes 12. Signorina Marisi is next. Lady Wears the Ring coming back. Lady Wears the Ring has retaken the lead. Madeira Wine second. Signorina Marisi's coming on strong under the left handed stick. Signorina Marisi. Lady Wears the Ring's determined though. And Lady Wears the Ring wins it. An ultra game style. Signorina Marisi second. Clock strikes 12 third. Madeira Wine fourth.